We are uh, down here today working on a trench for the spring um, because it's just made this whole area a big marsh. And so we're trying to get it to drain so that we can bring the backhoe in here and um, get started on our, our spring box for our water. So Terrell's still working over on the bridge, but me and the kids are over here. And um, so this is where the spring starts. Yeah, yeah. Coming out of the hole here. And it goes down the mountain. And as we get down, it gets even more boggier down there. So we're trying to do a trench here today and see if we can keep um, this water from draining out into the into the marsh and just stay in this trench so that this can dry up. So, but you can see it's quite a spring. This is one of two or three that we found on our property so far. So we're going to get started on this today. So we got the child labor going on here. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're digging about a two foot trench, about as wide as a shovel that we're starting here. And the boys are working hard. Down there you can see it just filling up with water. So we're gonna keep going at it here. We're back here at the spring trying to see how it's doing with what we did with this trench. And we still have water running, but we're still a muddy mess on the side here, so it's not draining or it's coming up underneath. So we're trying to figure out what to do with this and where we can bring the backhoe in because we need to dig a little deeper. But uh, we gotta be careful because if we move too much or change it too much, then we've been told that the mountain will just stop and then take it somewhere else. So we're trying to decide what the best route is for this because we got multiple places where it's coming out of the mountain. Not just one main. So we are gonna have to rethink how to make this work. So this side is where we're at with the, the spring right here is actually dry enough that Terrell's gonna try and bring the track the backhoe in from up top in the road and down in here to dig to see if we can find the main source. This part right here seems to be the area where it's coming out of the mountain the most. But we're having a hard time finding the main you can just see it flowing out of there. We have a couple of other spots up here at the top that are that way as well, but not flowing near as, as much as this one is. So we have to figure out a way to either find it the main source or figure out a way to combine all of these to make it work for us to have enough water. So that's the dilemma right now is trying to find it. How to combine them all. So Terrell's gone to get the backhoe. We're going to try digging deeper to see if we can actually see where it's coming from the mountain. The uh, hole that we used to be able to see. And see what we can do.
Okay, we're down here digging and uh, we've gotten to the rock layer. You can see it just growing out of the mountain there. And it's just filling this up, this trench we have big time. But uh, we're not going to dig past the rock. We don't want to disturb it anymore. But you can see the whole rock layer is just flowing out. But this seems to be the biggest flow over here that we've found so far. So. And you can see the water just flowing out of the mountain. So we decided there's probably not one main source. There's several spots here along the mountain where it is just seeping out. So we're going to level this out so it will keep draining down to the creek. And uh, we're going to come back and, and uh, figure out a way to get it all contained and uh, start the spring box. Today we're back at the spring. It's kind of covered right now in trees, but we're clearing all the trees off of the bank. Um, and, and a few feet up as well to make sure that we are getting the maximum amount of water that we can out of this spring. And trees um, will take hundreds of gallons a day. So we're taking the trees out and um, clearing out this area today and hopefully be ready to get started on our actual spring box process that we've been trying to get done here so we're going to clear this all mess out today so the spring is nice and clear it's running great it's been about two days since we were here and found the rock layer and it's still running just as good as it was before so we didn't seem to disturb anything or make it slow down at all which we're grateful for and uh, so this is where we will be working today, making little piles and burning those once they dry out. So it's going to be a busy day. <laughs> 